Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, TGIF. Hi, teacher. Good morning, everyone. Hi, teacher. Test out your microphone. Today, you're going to need your microphone. So if you haven't already, say hello. Make sure everything's hello. working. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Same to you. Thanks. Before we get started, I just want to remind everyone, yesterday's activity, uh, make sure that you share your link to the Sway. I just uploaded a post this morning at 745. It's called Sway Activity. If you're looking at my screen, you should be able to see it. And I would ask that everyone please reply to this post with the name of your team and also the sway. Team 2 has already shared their sway. All right, so the link should take you directly to the sway itself. All right, and we should be able to see the sway. And as they have done, they have included... In the last card, the first and last name of each team member and their role. All right, so please do the same. And also, if for any reason one of your teammates did not participate, then do not include their name in the final card of the sway. All right, so uh, later today in class, you can uh, share your sway to this post, okay? Don't worry about it right now. If you haven't done so already, uh, you can do it later after we finish our speaking activity that I would like to start right now. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna ask everyone to raise their hand in Microsoft Teams. Not like physically raise your hand, but uh, raise your hand in Microsoft Teams. Does everyone know how to raise your hand? Okay, I see people are raising your hand. Excellent. Please raise your hand. I would like everyone to raise your hand. As I choose your name, I will select, I will lower your hand, or I will ask that you lower your hand. I guess I can do it too. That will help me keep track of who has participated and who has not. I'm going to choose uh, first of all, I'm going to read the question. I'm going to read the question twice. Now, I would recommend that you take notes. If you want to write down anything that I say in the question, if you have a notepad, right, or if you have an electronic device, if you want to take notes, I would recommend that you do that. Okay, so I'm going to read the question. If you want to write down what I say or any notes to yourself, and how you want to respond, right? I would write those down in your notes. So I'm going to repeat the question twice. I will pause for one minute before I call the first person at random. Okay, I'm going to read the question twice. I'm going to pause for one minute, and then I will choose the first person to respond to the question. Right? You don't have to say your name. You don't have to say anything other than begin answering the question. You'll have one minute to answer the question. Okay, you'll have one minute to answer the question. If you're still speaking, I will politely interrupt you and uh, we'll move on to the next person. All right? So we're just going to go one by one, each one of you answering the question. Once you've answered the question, you may leave the class and continue working on anything that you need to work on. If you need to complete the group activity, you can do that. If you want to spend this time completing your next podcast episode, you, you may do that. I will come back at 940 to summarize, close the class, 
and ask for any final questions, okay? We will come back at 9.40 and close the class as we do most days. All right, so again, I'm going to read the question twice. I will pause for one minute. I will choose the first person at random. You'll have one minute to answer the question. You're encouraged to take notes both on what I say, what I am presenting as the question, and you can take notes about what you want to say. Okay, I recommend that you do that. Once you've, come, once you've answered the question, you may leave the class. Okay, you don't end. Uh, just make sure to come back at 940 as we close the class. When we finish with the speaking activity, it's going to take about 45 minutes, more or less, to complete the speaking activity. Of course, I'm going to be online to answer any questions. All right? Um, we won't have anything else online as, as a class, but I will be here if anyone has questions after the speaking activity. I would ask that no one send me any emails or posts while we're doing the speaking activity because this is going to be our focus for this first part of today's class. Are there any questions about the instructions here for the speaking activity? No. No. Okay, if you haven't already, please raise your hand. It looks like Alexia, Alondra, Lisette. Tanya, please raise your hand. Yaisha. This will help me. Uh, I will lower your hand as I choose you, and this will just help me also in case you want to stick around. If anybody wants just to stay and listen to your classmates answer, that's okay, but it's not required. You may leave uh, the session once you've answered the question. All right. Are you ready? Of course you are. All right, so make sure... Um, Please make sure that your microphone is muted if, uh, if you're not speaking, right? So that there are no distractions for the person who is uh, speaking. Okay? Teacher. Yes. So we're just going to take notes uh, in our question, or we have to take notes for every question? There's only one question. Okay. Everybody's going to be answering the same question. I'm going to repeat the question Right? I'll repeat it. I'm going to present the question two times, but it's the same question, and everybody will have, uh, have to answer the same question. Right? So I'm, I'm not going to repeat it again. Once we start listening to the responses, I'm just going to ask that I'm just going to ask the next person to go ahead and answer the same question. Right? And I'm not going to repeat the question. Right? I'm only going to repeat it at the very beginning, and then the rest of the session will be listening to each of your answers to the one question, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? No. No, teacher. No. All right. Okay, so I'm going to present now the question, making sure. Uh, Maria de Jesus, can you raise your hand, please? I need uh, everyone to raise their hand before we get started. And Lisette, okay, thank you. All right, here is the question. We're going to start, and I'll repeat it. The first, the, uh, the question that you're going to answer today. Some people enjoy taking risks and trying new things. Others are not adventurous. They are cautious and prefer to avoid danger. Which behavior do you think is better? Explain why. All right, I'm going to repeat one more time the prompt, and then I will begin with your answers. Here's the second time I'll repeat it. Some people enjoy taking risks and trying new things. 
Others are not adventurous. They're cautious and prefer to avoid danger. Which behavior do you think is better and explain why? All right, I'm going to pause for one minute. I'd like for you to think about your response. You may take notes. And in about one minute, I will choose the first person at random. Okay, so let's begin with the first person to respond. Jasmine, can you provide your response, please? Um, yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I think I would prefer being like not to risk, but at the same time not to skirt of the life. Uh, but I think I have to decide for one now. So I think I will prefer to be to be risk because you know you only live once and you have to to enjoy the life and do the things that you want to do even if if they are dangerous. I don't know. Uh, obviously you have to take care of yourself, but uh, you don't have to be like shy all the time because. I'm now already a, a shy person, but I will prefer to be risk. I don't know. I will like to enjoy more the, the time that I am spending like a person. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Jess. The next Thank person. You. Paulina. Um, I prefer to um, try new things because I think that, well, like the famous phrase, I don't know if that's the way to say it, we just have one life. <laughs> so I think that we, I have to, um, to do all the things that I want to do. <laughs> Even if... Um, it's scared to me or not. Okay, thank you, Paulina. Next person, Alexia. Me, teacher. Um, for me, it depends what kind of risk I'm gonna do, because um, if we are talking about risk of games in ferias, I don't like that kind of risk, but. If it's risk about like mountains or that kind of things, I probably do it because I like to explore and do the things. And also, um, I like to do that kind of things with company. It could be with my family or with my friends. So probably I do it, but I'm not really sure. 
it depends. Okay, thank you, Alexia. Nelly, you're up. Yes, um, I think to take great risks or prove new things is better because sometimes you can find something something do you liked. When you take risks, uh, you can prove many experience. Uh, but we need to choose uh, legal risks, uh, no, no bad risks. Okay, thank you, Nelly. The next person who's up is Zeus. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I think that it's better when you take risks because when you take the risk, you are exposing yourself to something new. So, if you expose yourself to something new, you have to, like, go get out from your comfort zone. So, what this is going to do is that you develop new skills. So, I think that is better because you are going to be better. So, if you try new things, of course, it can be wrong. It can be like doesn't end well but probably when you try something new and take the risk you can win more things that you can lose okay so. great thank you jesus <laughs> thank you erica can you hear me teacher yes i can hear you Okay, uh, I would rather take risk because I think I would like to discover and try new things in my life. And also there are many things that scare me because I'm a very shy person. And but I would like to experience exciting things and I think that Taking risk giving meaning to my life, but obviously taking precaution. Okay, thank you, Erica. Vanessa. Here. Go ahead. Um, well, I think it is better to enjoy life doing everything you want because anyway, someday um, you will die. And at least you will die knowing that you do everything you want. Um, for example, in my case, I like some extreme games or anything that has to do with adrenaline. And that's why I think sometimes it's better to take risks.
Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Uh, Maria Jacqueline. Yes, mm, I think yes, because we are in many difficult situation, which we must be careful not to fall. For example, in bad examples or things like that, Mm, that is why I think that we must see bad experiences of other people to be better people. Mm, and I think that. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, Mirna Jacqueline. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, well, I think it's better to take risks because it is better to try new things. And I feel that it helps, helps you to believe more, more in yourself, sir. <laughs> and um, actually, I'm a very shy person. And, but I like to take risks because that is how I knew what I like. And I have had very um, nice experience and adventures because of that. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. Alonso, you're up. Um, yes, teacher. Go ahead. Um, can you repeat the question? Um, I, I am um, a little bit late. Okay, I'll explain at the end of class uh, for those who arrived uh, who arrived late. Okay, well, let's go on to the next person, uh, Nadeline. Yes, um, the best better in my opinion, being adventures and taking risks because. You have um, a better experience about life, and you can tell them and they know new thing. In more opinion, it's better to know about what happened from risk and experience that you can have and live the normal. Okay, thank you, Nadeline. Uh, Carlos, you're up. Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I think that people enjoy risk because they like the because they like to feel the adrenaline running through their veins. So adventures are awesome and try new things represents a new opportunity to learn more knowledges about something or anything 
or to be a more better person. So, but some experience, some some situations could be some dangers. So you have to be more carefully. So when I, when my opinion is, uh, when you have those opportunities, you can. Mm, ah. When you have those opportunities, take them all with care and, mm, and be so dedicated because okay. it's Thank you, very Carlos. important for you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, Daira, you're up. Yeah, I'm here. Um, I think that I prefer have adventures and take risks because um, I think that we only have one life and we should enjoy it. Um, I am a scary person, but I like to explore and I prefer take risk. Um, I like to live adventures, adventures because you learn new things. And I think that when you are old, you are going to regret not doing don't do it i i don't know um okay thank you day uh, maria de jesus you're up Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Um, my opinion is that all people have the right to live in the way that pleases or suits them, team best, as long as they are responsible and respectful with others. Okay, thank you, Maria de Jesus. Uh, Dana, you're next. Me, teacher? Yes, go right ahead. Okay, I think um, it's better sometimes to take six and, and leave your comfort zone. And I think that in this way you could cover your limits, your limits. But I so also I think it's important to know how to care of yourself. And I think we should learn to get out our daily routine. But for example, in my case, when the risk can have negative consequences consequence for me or for other people I think about it twice and sometimes I don't do but it's fun to try new things okay thank you Donna uh, Ellie Elizabeth you're up Me, teacher? Yes, go right ahead. Okay. Um, I think that it's better to reach everything that you ever dream of and taking the risk and taking, well, the chance to get out of your comfort zone, meet new people, new places, 
try new things, let, you, let yourself to adapt to the situation, because if you don't, well, you will always be thinking of what will happen. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Susanna, you're next. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, um, I prefer uh, avoid danger because uh, I don't know, there's like, uh, I really enjoy to see uh, those extreme activities uh, performed by other persons, but there is something that I will never do because uh, I don't know, like, um, I don't like having that feeling of nerves, of think, uh, how about if something goes wrong? Uh, but, well, obviously, I like, uh, for example, fair games and water activities that we can perform at the beach, like banana. Uh, well, I don't know if it is a risk, but I like those kind of activities. But things as, I don't know, jumping from high places or something like that, uh, I don't like it. Okay. Thank you, Susana. You're welcome, teacher. Uh, Fatima, you're next. Um, here. Well, I think that I would prefer to take a risk, even that I'm a very shy person and I don't usually do this kind of things. But I think this can help me having more confidence, even if it's out of my comfort. And it would help me have more experiences and help me in my, in my life and in my person. And also, I could take away my scaredness because this kind of things, like having risk, scares me a lot. And more because I, I'm, I usually overthink a lot the problem that it could happen. But yeah, I think that having, taking risk should help me more. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Uh, Maria Jose, you're up. Yes, it's you. Uh, well, I prefer to take a risk because I feel like taking this will create new opportunities for the future for us. Um, I feel like if you've done nothing, then nothing will happen. So take risk for me. It's the best thing we can do, we can do for confidence and maybe who can help us grow as a person and I think that's all. Okay, thank you, Maria Jose. Uh, Monica, you're next. Yes, can you hear me? Uh, it's really low. Can you maybe talk either a little louder or closer to the microphone? Can you hear me now? Yes, uh, just try to speak uh, loudly. Go ahead. of both 
because I think that it's important to try to experience your family and your friends and <coughs> that implies always a risk. I think that can help you to know yourself and discover the activities that you really enjoy or in the contrary, maybe the things that you don't like to do. But I think you only can discover it if you try to do it. Mm, I'm a shy person and sometimes I prefer to take a lot of risks and that's a part of my life that I'm trying to change because I lost a lot of opportunities and I think always we can learn. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right. Um, Gabby, you're next. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I think I can understand why people take risk. I will don't do it <laughs> because I'm a coward. And, and I think it is okay to take risk if you want to. It, is, it uh, gives you more experience with another adventures it's okay if you if you want to but if you are a coward like me <laughs> don't do it um i think it depends on each person um but i think the two behaviors are, are okay and i well that if you don't want to it's okay not do it and i know there's a lot of risk of uh doing that activities so i will prefer avoid that but the two behaviors are okay in in my opinion and well okay that. great thank you gabby uh monse you're up well i always have in mind that you just live once so that's why every kind of opportunity or um, like every kind of risk, I always will take it because I want to discover what it feels, uh, how it's going to be the experience mm -hmm. and how am I going to talk about that risk after I do it. So that's why every single time that I have in mind that I just live once, I don't care too much about the risk. I always try to do new things to have new experiences to talk about. Okay, thank you, Monse. Uh, Yaisha, you're up. Mm, yes, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, so I think it's uh, it's like a 50-50 because you take some risk that can turn out bad and some that can turn out good. But when they turn out good, I think it helps you, like some someone said, that helps you grow as a person and know more about Okay, thank you, Yaisha. Luis Enrique, you're up. I think that many people take dinners and sundries 
for get more experience, but I do not chase danger because I am a cobra and they sometimes people who take the ways of danger is starting to get more experience or problems and many people that they not do danger sometimes it do go for her life I think that I only can do go as well. Okay, great. Thank you, Luis Enrique. Uh, Sigrid, you're next. Um, I I would prefer to try new things because you only like once and you have to enjoy your life. You have to do things that you have never done and would like to do, um, such as traveling to new places, trying new experiences, like, I don't know, jumping out of a plane or climbing a mountain, and um, try new food, meet new people, and that kind of things. Okay, thank you, Sigrid. Uh, Nancy, you're next. Well, um, I think it's better to take a risk because if you don't feel better, be able to know that what will happen. And at last, you should feel that adrenaline sometimes in life. And you should take uh, then, but take care of yourself. Uh, risk that do not harm your health and body. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Maria de la Cruz, you're next. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't like doing uh, lots of risky things. I prefer don't to put myself in danger. But sometimes it's uh, good to do different things and enjoy the moment we are living. There are people who like to do very risky things and when they to do it, it is a lot of fun, but when we do it observes, it sometimes is curious. Okay, thank you, Maria. Fernando, you're next. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I think that it's better to take risks and try to try to do new things because it's, it is better to leave your comfort zone and there to do things that you think that are difficult for you. So in this way, you will lose your fear 
of everything you thought that you couldn't do or maybe of things that you didn't know. So I think that it doesn't matter if you make a mistake or fall. The important thing here is to live with the experience and learn of it. But it will depend on the situation because there will be things that maybe it is better to leave them as they are and do not take that risk. But I prefer to to dare to to give my best and but with caution. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Uh, Tanya, you're next. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Let me put my alarm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that it's very important to take like danger to be a pincher because there's only one life. But um, the only season we can like we have to be so careful is um, do things that don't don't affect your integrity so you can do whatever you want but while you're not affecting your integrity it's okay um i like to be a person very adventure because i don't like to be to have like quedarme como con las ganas to do something i like to arriesgar everything and that's it Okay, thank you, Tanya. You're welcome. Maria Fernanda, you're next. Hi, teacher, lo siento. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I think I, I prefer to take risk because I've always have been a person who likes the danger. I like to be in... A, uh, in that games of the feria, I, I really like it. So I think uh, I will take risk always because it's better. <laughs> and yeah, being like a, with being scared of that kind of things, it don't, it only affects you in your life. I think that. Okay. All right, thank you very much, Fernanda. Lisette, you're next. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Well, in my opinion, I think the best thing for me is to take the risk and adventures. Mm. To me, being like this has always given me good things. Well, because life is to live and if you only do common things, maybe when you are old, you will regret not having done many things. And that's it. Teacher, can you hear me well? What I what I'm saying? Yes, I heard you just uh, just fine. Thank you, Lisette. You're welcome, teacher. Uh, Londra, you're next. Uh, Londra, you're next. Uh, Londra, you're next. 
You're next. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Mm. I think that is better to take risk because in this way you experience a lot of new different things. And if you stay in your um, just own place and do nothing, you won't do anything in your life. And when you take a risk, you realize that there are a lot of things and those things may become great memories for you. And that's all. Okay, thank you, Alondra. Maria de Refugio, you're up next. Okay, uh, good morning, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Good morning. Okay. Um, I think taking risks uh, can be uh, choose an election that you can take or as well try new things as an adventure adventure person uh, it can be well uh, but if you I, I feel that if you think that it, this try this thing uh, doesn't feel right for you uh, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't uh, recommend recommend it if you consider it. But it, uh, um, you can see everything. Um, uh, okay, great. Thank you, Maria. Gonna... Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, Andrea, you're up next. Yes. Um, well, I think I prefer to do new things and have different adventures and try other things to be able to share with others and will share with others what, for example, I have done and perhaps encourage them to try it too. And well, I've always liked get out of the comfort zone because I feel that when you do it, you can discover what you really like and what you don't. Um, I used to be a little shy and I never wanted to meet new people or do a lot of things. And, but as I said, getting out of my comfort zone helped me to be more adventurous and think, I think that it's better to try everything. All right, thank you, Andrea. Diana, you're up. Yes, teacher. I think it's where, you can hear me. Yes, I can. Okay. I think it's very to be a um, person who takes risks because those kind of persons do many things in their life that other persons don't dare to do or haven't done yet. Um, and sometimes um, those persons that don't take risks wanted to do uh, those things, but they mm, have fear. And I think is being a is not only in the part of being an extreme person. It's in the daily life because uh, there are people who who leave their comfort zone and who are more faced with the life and don't worry about little things. But saying okay. All, all right. Thank you, Diana. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, that will conclude today's speaking activity. I want to give everyone else the rest of the class to continue working on any pending items, anything else that you need to complete, whether it's a group activity or working on your podcast episode for this week. Um, we will reconvene at 940 and I'll give final instructions and uh, have an opportunity to uh, answer any questions that you have, including those who maybe arrived late to today's session and uh, we're not able to participate in today's activity. We'll talk about at that time uh, what, uh, what we'll do. All right, so I'll go ahead and mute my mic. I'll be online if you guys have questions about your group activity, uh, but do make sure that you include each of your team members' names as the last card at the very bottom of your Sway presentation. All right, guys? Sure. Yes. Um, I have a question about what is going to happen in Monday. Um, okay. What's your question? Um, the university sent us a email <laughs> that we have to go and Monday someone, some people of the group at one and some other people at one thirty. All right, and uh, um, are we going to like nos van a dar el día libre o solo de cierta hora o cómo? Eso es hasta el 19. Lunes 19. No era 12. Según yo era 12. No, hay que Let me see. Pero qué se trata en el correo que que mencionó ahí o qué fue el propósito de de la cita o o oh, si sí, era de o okay, que era o okay, que dice ah, es que dice que tenemos que ir a entregar los documentos en físico pero es hasta el 19 si es por cita si es en la tarde eh, pues creo que no va a afectar las materias que se empalmen en esta hora Ah, okay. hasta, hasta que alguien me dice en lo contrario, pues seguimos normal uh, las clases, este, pues el clase el lunes, ¿verdad? Pero si, si me dicen algo antes, pues le, les mando un, pues este, un correo diciendo pues, qué que vamos a hacer. Pero hasta ahorita, como yo sé, son en, en nuestra clase a las 8 siguen igual como normal. Ok, teacher, ¿Sale? thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a um, question. Yes. Well, uh, I like to participate. Ah, okay. With the question. Oh. Okay, Leo. Um, go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Well, I think I prefer to be an introverted person and not take risk. Before, I prefer to think things through very well before to eat them. So as not to make mistake, you know, even sure sometimes I prefer to take adventure, but I'm very shy to do things or the ordinary. And I like more to be in a room listening to music and having a coffee without having any problem or just relaxing with a good book. And um, yeah. Uh, teacher, I have a question. I, have a question. I couldn't I, participate uh, before because I had some. Uh, okay, some sorry, sorry, Adan. Okay, uh, thank you, Leo, for your participation. Okay, Adan, go yeah, ahead. Thank you, Adan. Teacher. Sorry. All right, go ahead, Adan. Thank you. Um, well, I would like to say that it is, uh, it's gonna be fifty-fifty because, um, uh, well, I, I always highly recommend that people take risk because if you don't take risk you are not able to see that if you are good at something or not maybe you are good at it but you you actually don't know that because you are not taking that risk but uh, to be uh, I, I would like to say that 
sometimes I'm not that kind of person because uh, maybe because of my personality, my my character, uh, I'm not always going to take uh, a risk because uh, um, well, um, I'm speaking English in public and I can do that. But if you told me that uh, Adam uh, get into uh, uh, getting a car that is going to, uh, at uh, uh, three hundred percent on three hundred three hundred. Okay, uh, thank you, thank you, Adan. Thank you. Got it. You're thank welcome. you. All right, uh, Estefana, did you want to participate today? Yes. Okay, go right ahead. In my opinion, some people do not like to get off of their comfort zone and others like to experience net things they like to feel the adrenaline in their body. Maybe they feel that they are living in white. Other people feel comfortable home they live. They live with of risking nothing and no change. Okay, thank you, Stefana. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, jump right in if you guys have any questions about what uh, what we're doing this week, and we'll reconvene, we'll close the class at 9.40. Teacher. Yes. I um I forgot to complete the comment in my YouTube video with my classmates. Uh, am I in time to complete it, or, or it's so late? No, you can uh, complete it. Go ahead and uh, do that at this time, and then send me a, a message. If you could send the link to the video with a message confirming that you completed the reflection, uh, just send yeah. it to my chat, please. Okay, yeah, teacher. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and close uh, the class for today. Uh, just a quick couple of things here before we uh, conclude. I'm going in and I'm checking some of your sways, really enjoying what I've, s I've seen so far. Uh, it looks like uh, Luis Enrique, for some reason, uh, I'm not able to access your Sway. So make sure that you check the settings. Make sure that um, I think there's an option to share the Sway with, with, uh, within the organization, something about sharing, within, uh, sharing with people within the organization. Uh, that's probably what you want to do. Make sure that it's public, that it's not uh, set as private. And uh, if you have uh, issues with that, uh, let me know after class. We can we can look at that. Also, I'm curious about what your experience is, how you felt about using Sway. Maybe you've used Sway before. Maybe this is the first time. But I am curious about how you guys feel about using Sway. If you don't mind, I uploaded a post in uh, Microsoft Teams. I'm looking for it now. It's called Sway Reflection, and all I'm asking is if you can, if you can just give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, uh, or a smiley face or a frown if you liked using Sway. If you want to use a, uh, or if you want to provide a, a, a reflection using an audio file, and you want to use your phone in just a quick 
comment or two, feel free to do so. It's optional. But I would like a thumbs up or thumbs down or hearts or, or something, how you felt about using Sway. And, um, yeah, if you don't mind doing that. Also, a few of you I've asked to send me a chat with a link to the video where you've uploaded your reflection. This is for the performance task number one for week five. So please check your grades for the performance task. If uh, you've uploaded the reflection, send me the link to the ch to the uh, YouTube uh, page where I can f see your reflection so I can change your grade. Okay, so please do that today. I want to finish that today. Uh, this is the first performance task for week five. And I've listed your names here, so please double check that. And what else? If you haven't already, please reply to this post, the Sway activity with the link to your team's Sway so that I can take a look at that and grade that. All right, any questions about uh, the activities for, for this week or anything that we've been uh, talking about? Mm -hmm. No teacher. No teacher. All right, well, I'll uh, go ahead and stop there, and I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend, and uh, we'll see everybody on Monday. Take care, everybody. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye.